open up that closet, sit down with your skeletons, grab a cup of coffee, grab your violin, get to know your past skeletons. Let me tell you something, you get to know your past skeleton, it's going to really help with moving forward, especially in the sport of weightlifting. But when you walk up to that barbell, you're facing more than the weights, my friends. You're facing you. It's a battle between yourself. Ain't that, that trust me, when you, when you have to battle yourself and what you've gone through in life and what you've seen and felt, your deep down emotions, when you have to battle you, screw the weight. You kidding me? Screw the weight. And that's the toughest part about me. But you can use this emotion when you approach a bar. You can use this self-reflection, self-attack mode to your benefit of saying, here I am. Here I am pretty much half naked with this singlet on. Everybody's looking at me. And I'm not just going to lift the bar, but I'm, I'm going to lift myself up as well. And I'm going to better my life for my family, for my friends. I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to tackle my fear. I'm going to put myself out there completely. And when you go out there and you make lifts, and you put up a total, and you do what most people don't want to do or won't ever do, let me tell you something right now, listener. That's the achievement. Iron sharpeneth iron. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Proverbs 27, 17. You guys are here to keep me sharp, man. Let me read that again. He said, quote, I'm going to break you down, boy. Then let's get ready for Monday. Let's stay moving. Let's stay focused. We cannot rest. You know as well as I know, listen, that when you rest for, for too long, it's okay to take a, a day off. It's okay to have that one day off. But if you rest too long, you have noticed that the body starts breaking down. Wires start to get crossed. You start to feel more and more rusty. You start to feel like the tin man. You really actually kind of feel your strength diminishing right in front of you. And this is something that we need to be aware of. A smart taper is the way to go. Taper is very different than just completely resting. Taper is very different than just not lifting. There's never a time when we should just completely not rest. Because we love the drive to get better. We love the process of getting better. We truly do actually love the suck that the sport provides in order to get better. You have to live in the dark. You have to go through hard times. You have to be in, 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 in pain and discomfort. I think one of the most important things a coach can do is to step back and let the lifters lift. Um, a lifter that really wants to be the best is a pretty self-motivated individual. But the point is, is that as we were smoking a cigarette there, the question was, what are you going to hit today? Not are you going to hit your percentages? No, what are you going to hit today? That was the question every single morning smoking a cigarette with Donnie Shankle. None of this bull crap watered down, oh, I just can't wait to get the workout done and then go home. Oh, I'm pretty beat up and sore. I'm just going to kind of just, you know, coast through it today. Every single day was a challenge. She says that she, she competes to get better. And I love that. Now, on face value, you're thinking, okay, wait a minute. That's obvious. But is it? She said the reason why she trained so hard in the past was to get better in competition. She said she didn't really care what she hit in training. All she did was focus on training hard. And that was it. But at the 
end of the day, you know, there's no magic pill, there's no magic exercise, there's no magic program that's going to get you to the top. Believe in your coach, believe in the program, give it your all, give it hell, and let's go. If you don't have a coach that can fix that, if you don't have a coach that can help you with the transfer from your first to second, if that's what you need or whatever, then that's the problem. It's not the locks. And when you walk out to that barbell, listeners, you're not just facing the bar. Oh, no, you're facing your past demons, the skeletons that are locked away in your ske- closet, knocking to get out, knocking to get out. Hello, hello, talk to me. But sometimes we just keep the cl- closet closed and we just keep moving on with life. But we are a family. So we're going to deal with this as a family, together, no matter how it affects anybody. Which is the sport of weightlifting. And you go out there with the will to win. And whatever you need to do to remind you of that, you do you. The will to win. That's what I got from Glenn, you know. I was thinking about that yesterday. It was like, as I was reading John. Jesus was talking about heaven. Wasn't it wonderful to lift in front of Coach Penlay? You couldn't wait to have his eyes on you, you know? As you go up there and snatch clean and jerk, one of the biggest joys you got was to, to lift in front of a man who loved you and who wanted to see you flourish. Well, man, take that on a broader scale and, and go live life like you go and make six for six. And instead of it being Glenn watching you, it's the Lord watching you. And that's heaven, man. That joy that you have to go out each day, you know, not to go out there and slam bars, but to go out there and slam life. Mm, wow. Be what good. a perspective. Be a good, righteous man. And the joy that I got from that. The joy that I got lifting with you guys. The joy that I got lifting in front of Glenn. Whoever I lifted. Maybe that's the same joy, but magnified by a billion. Yeah, man, that's good. When you go and live on the platform of life before God. That is so dadgum good. Wow. That was intense. Perhaps that's what heaven is from a lay reader like me who knows nothing in this world but who's inspired to learn it in the eyes of my creator with gentlemen like you <laughs> and to preach the gospel when we get to it because it's such a, like I said, there's so much beauty and awe. Because it's been a while since I've competed and I'm super looking forward to the Arnold going out there slamming bars, making lifts, hitting big numbers, getting back in the game. So... Back in the grind, baby. We'll see you at the Arnold. Attitude Nation salute. Coffee salute. Here we go. Slam bars every single day. And let me tell you something right now, Attitude Nation. I'll probably get kicked out of the Arnold. I probably will. Let's go. Get ready for some big time debates because I'm slamming every yeah. motherfucking ball I lift. Yes! Let's go!